10 years ago, when I first started Gymshark, I was constantly online looking for tips and tricks on how to start a new business. Now, 10 years on, these are my top five tips on how you can grow your new business in 2022. Number one, social media. Anyone that knows anything about the Gymshark story will know that it was founded on social media. And to me, I still think the opportunities on social media are huge. Now, back when we first started, it was a very Facebook oriented world. But if I was starting again right now, all of my focus would be all on TikTok. I think the opportunities on TikTok are huge. It is a rapidly, rapidly grown platform. I'm pretty sure it was the top downloaded app, you know, for the last couple of years on the, um, the Apple store. Because of the way that the algorithm works on TikTok, it can pick up on great content and it can just go viral so, so quickly. And that is so powerful when wanting to get in front of new people or wanting to get in your brand, your product or your message in front of a new larger audience. And that is one of the reasons I absolutely love TikTok and think again, if I was starting again, that is where I would be spending my time. And then if I was wondering like what to post, maybe you could post about making your product or you could even talk about your day or just make short, sharp, snappy content that gives people value or insight. That is the most important thing for me. Now I know on TikTok, like funny videos and things can go viral and that if that's something specifically that you're looking to do, do it. But it, like for something that's probably more relevant and more similar to Gymshark, then try and at least be entertaining, informative, and just valuable with the content you're making. Number two, find your niche. We are so fortunate now to live in a world because of the internet and because of social media that you can literally put your specific niche message or product in front of so many different people and rather than previously where everything was done physically you can group all the different people that have interests in your specific niche across the world and generally now that will build a big enough population for you to communicate with and sell to and that can allow businesses to build out of true true niches niches that previously you just wouldn't have been able to do because of the fact that we we're also separated by geography and then in terms of your niche you want it to be specific you want it to be in a market that isn't particularly saturated and the most important one of the three it has to be in something that you truly truly love i genuinely genuinely believe that it has to be in a specific area that is genuinely a vocation for you and it has to be something that you would focus on and spend time on even if you you know you weren't doing it from a business or a commercial perspective and it's something that you truly truly love number three investing back into the business for the first few years of gymshark every single penny that we made went straight back into the business and we kept full-time jobs i was still working at pizza hut right up until the point where i literally had to quit because it was a decision of going to pizza hut going to university or go into our first ever event. So invest back into the business for as long as you physically can. If you truly, truly, truly believe in the business, then you will. this will be easy for you to do. But what you don't wanna be doing is the second that you start making profits, start to pull them out of the business. That is completely counterproductive and we need to try and really invest in the business and allow it to grow and flourish. And investing back into your business is still as relevant now in 2022 as it was in 2012 when we first started. Number four, networking. Now, when I say networking, I don't mean networking in the conventional sense where people sort of go to these events and have drinks and I don't know. Personally, I'm not a massive fan of that. When I say networking, what I really mean is pecking heads, right? Find people in your local area that are great at a specific thing that you wanna do and just ask them questions. And I promise you nine times out of 10, they will be happy to help. And it might be someone that's brilliant in our case at like sewing or printing or someone that understands business or finance, just find people that truly understand what it is that you need to understand and just ask them questions. And the worst thing that they can say is no, and they don't want to help you. Because I truly believe that everyone has something that they can be great at and that, you know, you can help one another. You will have skills that I'm sure that they would like, you know, too. So it can be a, you know, a mutually beneficial relationship and just constantly, constantly ask questions. I believe that is so important. And that is something that we and I did right from the very start in Gymshark and still to do every single day to this day. And now, more than ever with social media, you can contact anyone and just ask them things, right? You can drop the messages. And I think that's so important. And again, more often than not, if they've got larger followings, they might be less likely to respond, but find people who truly understand what it is that you're trying to understand and do your utmost to learn from them. Five, finally, again, as important now, probably more important now than ever, is all around development and objectivity. And what I mean by that is self-development and business development. I think every single day you should do something, even if it's small, that will help develop yourself, help you to become 1% better than you were the day before, whether it's reading five pages of a book, watching a YouTube video, listening to a bit of an audio book, again, asking people questions and learning. Development is so, so, so important. And then with that, objectivity. And what I mean by that is both 
objectivity of yourself, your strengths, your weaknesses, where you need to develop, where you need to focus your time, but also be objective around your business, right? Everyone loves their businesses. And like for me personally, Gymshark is my baby and I absolutely love it and I adore it. However, I need to look at it carefully and objectively and understand where the weaknesses are and where the strengths are. Otherwise, you will just end up failing. So objectivity for me is so, so, so important. And you need to be objective in terms of the business that you're looking to start, the business that you have, and basically everything in terms of your own development, but also the business's development too. Something else that I've thought about, which is nice because we sat here in a shiny new building, is like inspirational spaces. And that doesn't mean, by the way, that you need like a very expensive office to sit in. Some of the most inspiring places to me is walking around New York City at night or London or again just finding somewhere just to go and find inspiration it could be a free art gallery a museum like I said walking around a city some people are inspired by architecture some people are inspired by nature whatever it is just go out and find that inspiration and I promise you I promise you it will pay back in dividends because more often than not things like this are free it is free to walk and get inspired it's healthy it will help it will free up your mind so for me genuinely going out and finding inspiration through inspirational places and things is incredibly important too and that's even more so now in 2022 because so much of us are spending so much more time working from home. The other thing in terms of business development and growing a business and objectivity as well, sort of combining all of this is around, you have to be willing to change constantly, both personally, but also in terms of the business. I don't know how true this is, by the way, but someone told me a story that I think before Facebook IPO'd, something like the vast, vast majority of their revenue came from sort of desktop advertisements. And then they took the leap to focus pretty much purely on mobile. At the time, that seemed a little bit crazy because when all of your revenue is coming from desktop, why are you spending so much time looking at mobile? Because they truly believed it was the future and they were completely right. And now, from what I gather, the majority of their revenue comes from mobile. And that just shows that they did a huge strategic shift, took a risk, and it paid off massively. So in terms of business models and the way that you, like the things that you sell, like I think you have to try and be fluid with those things in terms of the way that you work and ultimately, do your absolute utmost to serve your customer above all things. Something else that we love at Gymshark and have done literally since day one is around community and events. And that could be from going to the gym all the time and I'd be in the gym like every other day. But then we started doing expos and events and stores and all these things. And they're great because one, it allows you to be in the community and the, the niche that you, you know, know and love, but it also allows you to learn, it allows you to network and it's just this perfect environment where you can achieve so many amazing things. And they're absolutely brilliant fun. So so the other thing I would suggest as well is a real thoughtful approach to community and events. It's just a huge opportunity in that in real life experience, that community, that event, and that store-based thing. And by the way, that's coming from a brand that pretty much exclusively does every single thing online. I genuinely think there's an amazing opportunity there. So I would be looking out in that sort of space as well. So that was my top five tips on growing your business in 2022. This video, by the way, was like an updated version of a previous video that we did with that we had a load of positive feedback on. So you can check that out here. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. And if you've got any more questions, then please let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well. And as always, thank you so much for watching and all of your support.